as you're going through the book you'll see references to the source code after screenshots so for example this screenshot is followed by this reference to source code 5.1 HTML and 5.1 CSS now though you need to locate those files in the source co code folder and you can open them in if if you're using top style open them in top style or if you want you can open them in a text editor okay this is the source code file that you will download it's a zip file so you need some software to unzip it I use WinZip but you can use anything when you double click on it the zip software that you've got will open and ask to unzip this software now you can see that the software uh, the zip file has a, a folder called code examples I'm just going to unzip that directly into the same folder and you can see here the folder code examples which if I double click on you get access to all the source code now there's two types of source code there's HTML files and there is CSS files the CSS file is obviously the cascading style sheet the purpose of this book to teach you how to do that if you want you can open them in a text editor or if you want to see what the HTML looks like you can open in your web browser so if you double click on the HTML file it should open in your default web browser and here we have it opened in Google Chrome which is my default so you can look at the HTML by opening the web browser I recommend you open the CSS in either top style um, trial version or a text editor let's have a look at those now firstly top style I've got 5.1 and 5. Point, that's the wrong one let's open up 5.1 CSS Okay, we can close that one. Now, the the source code goes largely it goes in pairs. You you might get some code which is just an HTML file, or you might get some which is just a CSS. But in general, the code comes in pairs for each example. You've got the HTML file, and you've got the CSS file. Now you can call the CSS file whatever you want, and you can call the HTML file whatever you want. But the HTML file references the source, uh, the style sheet here in this line. Not all of the HTMLs will have this line but those that do will be referencing a CSS file and in this case it's referencing the 5.1 CSS so if you want to change the name of this to something else more descriptive then you also have to change this reference in the HTML file. So if I change that to two column layout dot CSS then I'd have to change this text here to two column layout dot CSS so that it can find the correct source file that's what it looks like in top style in a text editor this text ed editor is textpad but you can use any text editor and again if you change the name of the CSS file you have to change the name uh, or the reference in the HTML file that goes with that CSS